Caitlin Dennison has been missing since January 10, 2018. The teen was originally from Reno, Nevada. However, she was last known to be in Midland, Texas. Six months prior to her disappearance, Caitlin met a man from Midland in Reno. Their relationship reportedly progressed, and on, Jan on January 9, 2018, Caitlin and the man flew from Reno to Texas together. Caitlin never told her family the man's name or what he looked like, only that she was traveling to Texas with him. The day after she arrived in Texas, Caitlin called her sister from a Walmart in Midland. Dur during said phone call, Caitlin repeatedly said this man makes me scared for my life. This is the last time Caitlin's family spoke to her, and she's never been uh, seen or heard from again. Okay, The unidentified man uh, Caitlin was reporting has never been identified. Caitlin's family members do not know the airline she took or the flight number due to this. Investigators have been unable to check airport surveillance footage. Okay, And here's a picture of... of Caitlin Dennison still missing. Comes to Midland, meets a man. Now, there's a story that I didn't even put down here, but my my home health care nurse, when I got out of the hospital, was coming here and changing the wound vac bandages for me uh, three times a week. Her name was Melissa Gibbs, okay? And so one day here, I'm, I, I was I was asking Melissa, as I was wanting her to put this uh, piece of metal inside the bandages, and there was a reason, because I was fixing to have x-rays, okay? And I was suspecting that they were uh, faking my x-rays, but I didn't have proof at that time. Now I got a lot of proof, okay? But back then, I didn't. And so I was wanting to get Melissa to put these this piece of metal in the bandages before I had x-rays, but she didn't want to do that, you know? And I don't blame her, because she was an RN, and she getting in trouble, you know? But she felt guilty, and I told, I told her at the time, I said, Melissa, they're trying to cut my leg off. And they were. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to cut my leg off, you know? Trying to cut the evidence off. And, and so, you know, Melissa was feeling guilty and she starts telling me there's this guy in Midland that takes this group of girls to Reno every year. Okay. And, and, you know, and, and my understanding, she was talking about sex trafficking, human trafficking. Okay. The reason I bring this up because that's where Caitlin met this man at was in Reno. Okay. You know, that's, that's what, um, uh, that's what Melissa told me. She was telling me this story. There was a rich man, he older than me, lived in Millen, took a group of girls to Reno every year. And about that time, the burglar in the attic that's here all the time throws something down. Boom! It scared us. Boy, I mean, it jumped, you know, and she, you know, Melissa was shaking, right? I mean, you know, it was... It, it, she never come back to my house after that, you know. She did them bandages and never come back. And the person in the attic was telling her, you need to shut up. I mean, and then that's what happened that day. The reason I tell this story, because I got a feeling that person that Melissa Gibbs knows, knows this person here that got Caitlin Dennison from Reno, okay? And, and, and I think there is a connection.